Hello, this is Mrs. Sutherland. Today I'm going to show you how to combine two pictures using Photoshop and we're going to make it spooky for Halloween. So I'm going to combine this photo of Ridgely taking a selfie with this photo I took of Jared sitting on an ottoman. I'm going to take Jared and I'm going to put him up here. Looks like he is sitting on Ridgely's head. I could actually make it look like he's floating above her head. Either way, and I'm going to make him look a little bit see-through like he's a ghost. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, cut Jared out of this photo. But I need to be careful when I cut something out of a photo that I don't actually delete any pixels because I might need them back later. So I'm going to go to my quick selection tool and click select subject. I'm going to let it think. Okay, it selected Jared, but also this ottoman, which I don't want. So I'm going to go up here to the minus, and I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger. And I'm basically just going to tell Photoshop that I don't want any of this stuff. It's pretty smart about telling what you want and what you don't want. I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to take away this dark part here. I'm going to take away the parts in underneath his arms. Um, and it looks like when I zoom in over here that it left out his watch. So that'll look weird if I don't add that back in. And it left out part of his foot here and part of his leg there. But now again, I've got to take more stuff away. So this is making my brush smaller. See how now it's a smaller circle? And that'll give me a little bit more control over um, what I want it to take out of my selection. So I don't want any of this background in my selection. And I don't want the stairs in my selection. So I'm just going to make little adjustments and let's see, we don't need this part. And we don't need this section. We want to keep the toes, but we want to get rid of the ottoman. And then we go up here. I'm going to go back to the plus sign up here because I feel like it's cut off part of his head. So I want to include that back in a little bit. But then I'm going to go back to the minus because I want to subtract this area next to his neck and maybe this little part right there too. All right. I feel like I'm pretty happy with this as my selection. So now I'm going to go ahead and click select and mask. When I do that, if you don't see what I see, you probably have this transparency over at the right, uh, probably is not a hundred percent. So if you make your transparency a hundred percent, you should be able to only see, uh, what you selected. I have mine smoothed out and feathered so that it doesn't look so harsh. If you don't have it feathered, then um, it's going to look like a really harsh line, as you can see here, and then it'll kind of look like you cut it out and put it on the other picture. But if you feather it just a little bit, then it gives it a slightly softer line to, to hopefully blend in a little bit with the other picture so it doesn't look quite so obviously photoshopped. Last thing I want to do is look at my output settings. I want to make sure this output setting is set to layer mask and then I'm going to click OK. And now I have a new layer or I have a layer mask on my layer. If there's anything at this point that I need to add or remove from my layer. So for example, this area down here uh, by his ankle looks a little strange and there's a, a little bit of dark stuff down here that I don't want to include. I don't want to use my selection tool anymore. Uh, what I want to use now is actually my paintbrush. So if I have my paintbrush set to a black color, then when I paint, it's actually not going to paint black or we're not going to be able to see that it's black. The black is actually going over here onto the layer mask. So it's actually going to hide whatever I paint black. And now if I paint too much, oops, I can either undo that or I can change my paintbrush to white 
and then anything I have painting white will just show me my pixels again. This is the nice thing because this way we're not actually deleting any pixels. So they're always there if we need them back. All right. So at this point, I want this layer to go on top of this other picture. So I am going to right click on the layer and choose duplicate layer. When I do that, my destination right now is in this same document. So it would put another layer up here, which I don't want. I want my destination to be this other uh, photograph, which is IMG 8962. So I'm going to choose 8962, click OK. Looks like nothing happened, but when I go over here, I say, whoops, there's Jared right in the middle of this picture. So with that new layer selected, I'm going to choose my move tool and I'm going to move him where I want him. Well, look, he's too big. He won't fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit um, command T uh, on a Mac or I believe it's control T on a PC and I'm going to make him a little bit smaller. And for right now, I'm going to have him hovering above her head. See, or I could have him sitting on her head. Actually, I think I, I like him hovering above her head just a little bit more than sitting on her head. Although sitting on her head is pretty funny. We'll see. Now I am going to have that same layer highlighted and I'm going to go to my opacity and I'm going to take that down a little bit to where he looks a little bit see-through, but not too much. 73%, that's pretty good. I can tell that I can see stuff behind him, but he is still there. So again, I'm gonna try to decide, do I like him better up here? I think I like him better actually sitting on her head. I think that's funnier. And I kind of like this, where it's going into his face, so you can really tell that he's see-through. All right, well, I feel like I'm happy with this. So now, since I'm gonna be turning this in, if you are in my class, uh, Mrs. Sutherland's class, you can't just save it as a Photoshop document because if you will, and you try to turn it in to uh, Google Classroom, it's not gonna be an image. So I need to go to File and go to Save As, and then I want you to save it as a format of a JPEG. And of course you're going to change the name to uh, your name and then the assignment. Right? And you click save. Um, a medium sized file should be fine. Um, you only need a super large file if you're going to be printing this. So I can also now save if I feel like I'm ever going to come back and I can save this Photoshop PSD file and that way if I ever want to maybe change it to where he is floating up here above her head uh, I could do that. All right well thank you for watching my tutorial. Uh, please comment if there's anything else you'd like to see and uh, I'll see you for our next tutorial.